Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with my post fight analysis video from Rhea Agapova versus Shanna Dobson. All right, y'all. Um, yeah, man, I was shocked just like everybody else, but I wasn't shocked in the same sense as everybody else. <laughs> Somebody on Instagram, they hit me up and said that they were shocked Shanna Dobson won. Nah, I, I wasn't shocked at that. I was shocked at Maria Agapova's approach to this fight. That's what shocked me. You know, if you go back and listen to my prediction, my breakdown and prediction, you know, I'm looking at the keys to victory for both of these fighters. You know, I'm looking at their past fights, you know, to really see what strengths and weaknesses will get them through this fight here. Their keys to victory. But I've never seen Maria Agapova take this type of approach to a fight before. You know, not this type of street fighting style against, you know, a, a more experienced fighter. Granted, Shanna Dobson is three and four. But she's not somebody who just come in there guns a blaze and trying to take their head off. And that's what Maria Agapova did. You know, I think that Maria Agapova just had like the wrong approach to this fight. And um, I think it's like a level of disrespect. You know, I think she disrespected Shannon Dobson with that type of uh, that type of approach. And I mean, like there's all types of disrespect in the game. You know, in combat sports, there's pushing at the way in name calling, you know, talking about somebody's mom, slapping them before the fights even started, push him at the face off. All that's disrespect, but this is another level of disrespect because it's like you're just going in there thinking you can do anything to that opponent. You know, you're you're just saying, okay, Shanna Dobson's three and four, so I'm gonna just go in there, take her head off. I'm gonna make her a highlight reel. I'm gonna just go in there and swing wild and think she's gonna lay down, you know, and make her lay down. No, that don't work like that, you know, and, and that's why I say that's the level of disrespect because you're not going in there taking this fight as serious as you did the last fight. Hell, I mean, she took the Hannah Cyphers fight a lot serious than that, you know, and that fight was considered a mismatch. But if you actually look at this fight on paper, it may look easy, but Shanna Dobson has fought some top level opponents. You know, she's she's been bested, of course, but, you know, you got to think Shanna Dobson's learning from these fights. She's learning from her losses. She's learning from her wins. And you got to think, she's in a do-or-die situation. Shannon Dobson's in a do-or-die situation. She's the bigger, she's the, she's one of the biggest underdogs in UFC history now. You know what I mean? She just pulled one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. You know, before that, it was uh, Ronda Rousey versus Holly Holm. That, that fight was the biggest upset. But now this is, you know, so that's a lot. That's a lot that's really fueling the fame flame of uh that's a lot that's really fueling the flame of somebody like shanna dobson so yeah shout out to shanna dobson for really coming through and proving everybody wrong with this second round stoppage of maria agapova uh prove me wrong and you know that's the one thing like if, if i get a prediction wrong that's cool you know um that just means that that other fighter is working you know especially like somebody like shanna dobson you know that means she's really trying to work on some things and uh you know stay in the ufc and get things done and make a statement but, I mean, let's go back and look at the fight real quick, man. Real quick, first round, Maria Agapova, she just came out guns blazing. You know, she came out throwing head kicks, strikes, uh, wh whatever. You know, she just came out throwing combinations of both. And Dobson, she ate some of these. She absorbed some and she weathered some. But the thing was, when you throw, when you throw these type of telegraph shots, whenever somebody's already looking at you and they see these big shots coming, your your element of surprise is gone and your intensity is probably like 75 percent less you know so they're big shots that are coming big power shots that are coming but dobson's looking right at these shots so she's like oh i'm blocking some i can take a few i can get right back in the pocket just weather some shots and that's what she's doing you know she weathers a few shots and then bang she comes over the top with the right hand on agapova agapova comes in for a clinch dobson takes her down and when she gets her down Agapova's down there struggling. You know, she's down there kind of squirming and wilding with her hands wilding. And Dobson, she's just kind of nullifying all this pressure. Just like I said, you know, she just really needs to kind of nullify her on the ground and just kind of exhaust her, make her exhaust herself in this position. Because, you know, she's releasing a lot of energy right now. She's she's really fighting at like a sprinter's pace right here. So all Dobson has to do is just kind of ride this round out, which she's doing. You know, she's landing some strikes here and there and on the ground and in these clinches. You know, she's just really controlling Agapova at this point because she, she, she knows that Agapova is exerting herself. So when an opponent is just exerting herself and you know it's coming, all you have to do is a few key, key moves in the clinch or on the ground to just kind of smother them, just to kind of smother them. But at the same time, they're still burning off that same intensity. They're just being less effective. And that's what Dobson was able to do. 
You know, she even almost got an armbar attempt on uh, Maria Agapova just because she was being so careless. You know, I mean, there were some back and forth moments on the ground. And of course, Maria Agapova landed some big shots here and there. But I think the round was close, but I had to give it to Dobson. I feel like Dobson was doing the more, uh, more, more mature technical work in there with her striking. And she she wound up in the better position as well on the ground to me. You know, I think she got the better of the uh, the ground control. But uh, second round, same thing. Guns are blazing from Mary Agapova. She came out throwing a few shots, but Dobson, she played it cool. She timed to come in and landed a big head kick that rocked her. As soon as she landed that big head kick, you could kind of see it already rock Agapova. Then she landed, she landed, she followed up with two double right hands, she, two big right hands that made Agapova step back. Then Agapova kind of tired and kind of fatigued. She stepped in for the takedown. So Dobson let her take her down. You know, she just kind of fell with her and rolled. And while Agapova's in this top position, she's kind of using this moment to just kind of rest. So Dobson's like, hell no. She flips her over. You know, she's kind of riding it out with her, but then she flips her over, gets on top of her in a side position, and Dobson just starts raining hammer fist down. I mean, she's like hitting her with these hard right hands to the head and to the face. And I'd say after like six or seven shots, I would have stopped it because Agapova really looked hurt. And she looked like she's about unconscious, like she was in a position that she wasn't going to get up. I mean, she made a couple of attempts to try to pop up and try to get to the to the fence, it looked like. But she was just getting hit with some big shots. Like, there was no defending. Like, all of her body was under Agapova at that point. Like, her arms and her legs just looked like jelly. You know, she was gone. So she she rained down with maybe, like, I say, like, five, six, seven, eight more shots. Plus the five before that, before the referee stopped it finally i was like damn he finally stopped it so she ate like seven eight unanswered maybe like 12 unanswered blows before the referee finally stopped it and um it was that bad that maria agapova's corner actually had to help her up and get back to the uh, get back to their corner so i was just like wow i was like wow man like this was a crazy this was a crazy finish for shanna dobson and again i wasn't shocked that shanna dobson could do this because if you've seen her in the past she has power in her right hand and if you give her opportunities she's going to take it i told you the thing i was shocked about was the way maria Agaprova came into this fight you know and the way she blew her wad in that first round and the way she overexerted herself and then she tried to continue to do that even though she was exhausted in the second you can see it really killed her it really killed her in this fight but uh, yeah, I definitely got to say shout out to Shanna Dobson. You know, she proved that she is a veteran and she's nothing to mess with. You know, and that's why I say if you look at records in MMA or boxing, whatever, you got to look at how these people lost in the past. Like if somebody has 12 losses, look at how they lost and look at who they lost to before you just go in there and say, oh, this guy's a pushover. Jorge Masvidal has a lot of losses, but he also has a lot of wins. And look, what, look at what he does. Look at what he has done recently. So you just can't go in there and say, okay, a three and four opponent, I can do whatever I want. I'm going to just disrespect them. I'm going to go in there and make them a highlight reel. No, it doesn't work like that. It don't work like that, Maria Agapova. And uh, shout out to Maria. I'm, I'm a growing fan of her. I just didn't like her approach to this fight and the disrespect level that she showed. You know, and um, just being real, that's corner talk. Like I said, I'm not trying to break nobody down. It's just corner talk. It's just facts on what I see. It's observation. And I think that uh, she can come back from this. She's just going to have to take this L as a lesson, not just a loss, but it's a lesson learned. Uh, shout out to Shannon Dobson, of course, man. Like I said, uh, the one of the biggest underdogs in UFC history. And, you know, she pulled off the biggest upset, upset in UFC history. But, yeah, man, that's all I got on this, guys. Let me know in the comments section. Do you think Maria Agapova can bounce back from this? And Shannon Dobson, who do you want to see her fight from here? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Make sure y'all subscribe. Peace.